In this video, I'm going to show you how to add uh, the upward and downward arrows, and in other cases, they are going to be triangles to your views to help or rather to enable users uh, easily interpret your visualizations. And to do that, I will be using this data, that is the sample superstore data set, whereby in this case, I'm going to build a view to compare uh, the product uh, subcategories uh, for the different years whereby in this case, I'm comparing uh, the sales performance. And let's say in this case, I want to look at uh, the trend in sales. Uh, there are several ways I can do that. One way I can simply compute uh, the percent difference by simply coming to sum of sales here. And at a quick table calculation, I'm going to select the percent difference, whereby as you can see from this view, we're simply comparing the performance in the current year with the performance uh, in the previous year. And that is the reason why you can see for the year 2019, there's no data, simply because uh, there's no previous uh, data. Or rather, this is the first uh, year in this data. And in this case, let me add uh, this year by simply right-clicking on it and select add. But now let's say you want to present this data to your users. There's no better way to do so than by adding some visual attributes or visual cues to help users easily interpret the data. And therefore in this class, or rather in this video, I want to show you four ways you can add some visual cues, whereby in this case, we're going to add these visual attributes in form of arrows and shapes. And to do that, first of all, let me duplicate uh, the view four times because I need to show you four ways. And once I do that, first what I'm going to do, I'm simply going to duplicate or rather uh, drag this calculation or table calculation to the view. And to do that, first I'm going to hold the control key on the keyboard and drag this table calculation to the data pane. And let's rename this field uh, percent difference. Sorry. Next, what I'm going to do, I'm simply going to duplicate uh, these calculations. So right click, duplicate, and now I'm going to come to edit this particular calculation to create my KPI, which I'm going to use to insert these uh, shapes. So let me rename this calculation KPI. And this is how I'm going to customize the calculation. I'm simply going to say if the computation whereby in this case, the computation is computing the percent difference, which you can see here, is greater than, let's say, zero. In that case, then I'm going to say um, there is a positive change. If otherwise, so else, I'm going to say there is a negative change and end my calculation. So basically, this is what I'm going to use to insert these icons or shapes to the view. And to do that, let me first of all change the max card to shapes. And I'm going to drag KPI to the shape. And then I'm going to come to the legend here to customize uh, or rather to edit the shapes. So come here, edit the shapes. And in this case, I'm going to select uh, the arrows whereby I'm going to assign the positive change, this green uh, upward arrow, and the negative change, this other arrow and click apply. Let me expand my view a little bit and probably make these arrows a little bit uh, larger. And now you can see uh, this view is much more interpretable than the previous one because with this view, a user can be able to see where there's positive change when you compare the performance with the previous year and where there is a negative change by simply looking at these uh, icons. Next, I'm going to show you the second way you can do the same. And to do that, first, I'm going to duplicate this KPI because I need to use the same calculation. And again, come to Max card, select shapes. Let me add KPI copy to the shapes. And I'm going to edit these shapes. And in this case, I'm going to use now the triangles instead of the arrows. So I'm simply going to select the fill option. And I'm going to assign the positive change this triangle and the negative change this triangle click ok let me expand the view by simply using the arrow keys on the keyboard 
Next, I'm going to enlarge these shapes a little bit and I can add some color layer by simply dragging the KPI copy to color and customize this color. So double click to customize the negative change, make it red, the positive, green. And now with this view, a user can be able to see or rather interpret the data just uh, like in the previous view. The other way you can have these shapes is simply uh, by basically including these shapes in your calculations. And to do that, let's duplicate uh, this uh, view again, the calculation again. And I'm going to edit the calculation, whereby in this case, instead of having the positive and negative in this calculation, I'm simply going to replace with the shapes themselves. And to do that first, I need to copy the shapes, whereby in this case, I'm going to use the character map app. So come here and search for character map app. If you're using the uh, Mac, probably you can search for character palette to be able to access the same. In this case, I'm going to go down or rather to search for my shape, whereby in this case, I can see here is the upward triangle. So let me select it and I'm going to copy it. And in this case, I'm going to replace the positive with the shape itself. So let me paste it there and you can see it here. And again, I'm going to copy the downward uh, rectangle, or rather triangle. So select it, let me delete this. Select it, and I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to insert it where we have negative there. Let me expand my view. So now for cases whereby the change is positive, Tablet will use this shape. Whenever the change is negative, Tablet will use this other shape. So let's add it uh, to the view. So simply drag it to text. And I can come here to customize uh, this particular shape, whereby I'm going to move it somewhere here, insert some space, and click OK. And now you can see we've inserted the shape. Let's color code it by simply dragging the KPI copy of copy to color. And we can customize it here, double click make it or rather choose whichever color that you want to use. In this case, let me use green and red to interpret the view. And now you can see we've customized uh, the view to make it uh, more interpretable. And lastly, what we're going to do, we're going to use what we call uh, the Wigdings fonts. And here is what I'm referring by the Wigdings fonts, whereby you can see we have the key on the keyboard and you can see uh, the icons or the shapes, it matches on these different forms. You can see we have the Wigdings, Wigdings 2, Wigdings 3, and so on. And for this case, our interest, uh, we want to target these two shapes, that is the upward triangle, a downward triangle, whereby you can see the upward triangle uh, aligns with the letter P on the keyboard, whereby in this case, the letter P should be uh, in small letters. And the down one arrows aligns with the letter Q, whereby in this case, it should be uh, in small letters. And therefore, what we're going to do, we're going to create a calculated field that we can use to leverage on these uh, Wigdings forms to create or rather to insert the shapes. And to do that, let me come again here and I'm going to duplicate uh, this KPI. So let's duplicate this one and I'm going to edit it. Let's rename it uh, KPI wielding and in this case what i'm going to do i'm simply going to replace the positive change with the letter p because i know letter p in small letters in the wielding forms represents an upward triangle and the negative i'm simply going to replace it with letter q in small letters and click ok and now i'm going to add this kpi wieldings to the text and I'm going to come here, whereby in this case, I'm going to move this KPI somewhere at the top here. And now to insert the shapes, I'm simply going to highlight uh, this calculation, that is the KPI, and I'm going to go to Forms, whereby in this case, I'm going to select uh, the Wigdings 3 font, basically what we have here, Wigdings 3. So that is what I'm going to select uh, on the font here, Wigdings 3 to insert the shapes. 
and click OK, and automatically you'll see Tableau will insert uh, those uh, icons. And let's color our view by simply dragging the KPI weddings to color. And we can format the color, double click, uh, make the positive change or other letter P, which represents the positive or the upward trend. I'm simply going to color code it green and letter Q red and click OK. And now you can see we've added some shapes to our views to make them interpretable. And basically those are the different ways you can include uh, these arrow shapes to your views to make them more interpretable. Thanks everyone.